So me and Kevin met like, I don't know, I can't remember. So, so the woman that connected me and PS to Billy Graham, um, she has a church in um, Peterborough. Um, and obviously um, she met Kevin, Kevin's a creative. And she's like, you have to meet this guy in London called Ayo. He's a creative pastor, X, Y, and Z. So we connected, we spoke. He came over for our anniversary. And then obviously I was doing this session. I thought, you know what, bro? Let's come and see your artwork. So today, it's all right. We still bring it over, even though it's not finished. It's okay. So today he's going to share very briefly on what this artwork is. We'll bring him back again when it's completed for us to witness the the glory, Maka Shanda, on this artwork. Can everyone see it? Amen. Um, powerful session. The worship, I was keying in. I was in there. Um, but yeah, um, ahead of this um, session, I was just seeking the face of God. And I was just um, pressing into his presence trying to understand what it is he wanted to say, especially to the creatives and the kingdom creatives. But that's an um, area of passion for me, being one myself. Um, and um, yeah, so I just as I was praying and just keying into the presence of God, the day that I spoke to you, God was talking to me about his breath and breathing again. And the power that is in that, and that's if you can't tell, that's the breath of God coming into the character and the water, the rivers of water flowing from his stomach, flowing from out of his belly. Um, and what God was speaking to me in that moment was um, when he breathed on us, it said man became a living soul, right? Or a living nevis. And basically in the soul, we, I mean, there's a lot of teachings on it. Um, will, intellect, emotions, um, mind, everything resides in the soul. And th that's the greatest power that he gave us, and that was the power to relate with one another. So when he breathed on um, man, unformed soil, that man became, gave, was given an ability, or man or woman was given the ability to relate with one another. And I just believe that that's the ability that he's releasing again through the art, through the creatives, through anyone that has access to his presence, amen? I believe that that's the, um, the, the flow of the spirit for this, for this, um, this time and this, this period of time. I feel, I feel like, um, as, as God has, has revealed it to me, it says, um, I think in Job, that um, the, um, the spirit of God um, or the almighty is in me and the breath of the almighty gives us understanding, right? Yeah, and then it's like, that's the, that's the power that God is giving to the creatives. The power to bring understanding, the thing that was lost at the Tower of Babel and restored in the days of um, the Pentecost in the upper room, restoring that through the creatives. He's him breathing on us, us being able to relate one, one to another. It's not necessarily about the artwork. It's not about the skill. It's not about that, that sort of thing. But it's the power to relate one to another. And, and I just believe that the... I just went into the scripture that you sent, the um, Ezekiel 47, and I just believe that though he was speaking about the water flowing from the threshold of the temple, it's not just the temple as in the church building or the house or whatever it's been. It's the temple of the Holy Spirit, our bodies. From out of our bodies, the river will flow. There, there's, a, there's a flow from, the, from heaven that will flow into different lives and different pockets of places. And I believe that that's going to be a tool that God's going to use as, as directed by the Holy Spirit in, um, in Psalms 46. And it says that he will remove wars. He will beat their, um, their, their tools, their instruments for war into plowshares. There's going to be a de-escalating de of wars and de-escalating de of conflict and de-escalating of all of these kinds of things through the power of the Holy Spirit when he breathes on us. So I believe that this word to tarry, to wait, has become, has, is to, to allow us to come into a place of being formed again. Amen. Formed from the dust and breathed into until he begins to, to fill us with creative ideas, creative expressions. It will change the world, I believe in Jesus' name. So yeah, that's what this artwork is about. Thank you so much.